Hello, hello. I'm not seeing a lot of logic input. There it is. <laughs> Helps if you unmute logic. All right, good morning, everyone. It's a good day. It's a good Wednesday for me. I had some perfect, perfect sous vide uh, eggs benedict this morning. They just came out just perfect. I've been uh, trying to get better at that recipe, and it oh, it was so good. And then uh, perfect flat white today. So I am a happy person because of breakfast. So today we're going to be working on some music for a game. Um, I've worked on this before on stream. It was a long time ago, like probably at least a year. Uh, it's been in development for a while. Uh, this is probably going to be a very, you know, I, I'm guessing based on who makes this that it's going to be pretty big. We'll see. Um, let's take a listen. So what I did was, it's been so long since I worked on this, this Bozy track here. I sort of reminded myself of the melody and sort of made myself a little temp track of the melody. So let's give give this uh, guide track a little listen so that we can uh, hear what it sounds like. Awesome. So I think I most remember what that is. What I'm going to do, since I've saved it with that in there, I'm just going to delete it because I can always just reload with that. And let's go ahead and start working on it. So I thinking our uh, overall speed is going to be a little bit lower. Like maybe let's try 111 because all ones is easier to type. And let's try doing some... So this is sort of a variation on that theme, since we're not necessarily writing a main theme track here. Cool. I really like that. Let's listen to that again. I'm not sure those, I like those harmonies. I like the pits. Try some bassoons. Let's do a straight up statement of the theme in the bassoons here. Try it again. Helps if we play the right notes. Let's phrase that a little. How would I sing this? Yeah, da, da, da. So I definitely have a little increase in volume here, but not a lot. So let's get the bass volume right first. I think this should be good. And we just want a little swell through this note. I feel like Bob Ross, it's just a happy little swell. See how that sounds. I don't think we need to come back down to 65, though. We're going to do the same thing here, just a little bit of a 
a bump and a little swell. This one's going to be a little smaller, I think, because I'm worried we're going to get into territory we don't want to with that volume. And actually, I don't even know if that needs to come back down at all. And we kind of want to, actually, we do want to come down a little bit because we actually want to do this sort of a deal through the rest of it. Yeah, well, hold on. Let's try, so from here, we kind of want to have a sudden subito piano here. And what we're going to do, is we're going to crescendo a little bit into this note. And then this note is actually going to, because what happens if you remember from the earlier melody, what happens, let me grab a switch to piano. What happens after this part, after we go. We go to this. Oh no, sorry. Here's, here's where we're crescendoing on this chord. So we go into that sort of minor E section there. Good. That's good. Let's uh, add some... Vibrato. So I would be pretty much straight tone on the first part. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, and we're going to add in sort of multi vibrato through that note. And sort of this kind of a deal. Let's see how that sounds. That's maybe a little aggressive, actually. Good, and we need to, um, I'm going to do this before I forget. Our note velocities are just causing a little bit of aggressive transitions, so. Maybe we could just do like a, this sort of a thing. And this one still needs to be lower. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's leave that the way it is and add some accompaniment to it. So we're starting with this pizzicato stuff. Let's try switching articulations here in the strings. This may be a little bit aggressive in terms of the sort of expression sound we get. I should remember my chords. What is it? Bum, bum, bum. Okay, so it's just A to C minor, C sharp minor. And then that's where it goes to to the F chord. Someday I will remember to set my minimum note velocity to 127 on these strings. I just, I'm always in the... No smacking and popping and clicking this morning since we fixed that in the Vienna instance on Monday. So, Monday was a frustrating day. But, uh... But hey, something came out of it. Something good came out of it. Yeah, I think we need to actually take the bassoon volume in general up a little bit. So let's do that. Just a little bit higher. And that's probably going to mean we're going to need to 
bump these ladder sections down a little. Excuse me. You can just bring this down too. That vibrato, I like it. It's, it's so nice to start with a already nice melody. That's another thing I don't do enough of when I'm just sort of doing free music. So we need to work on these dynamics here. Just check something real fast on our audio routing. I'm just going to make sure my levels are coming out the way I expect on the stream here. Yep, looking good, or sounding good at least. This needs to come down significantly here. This is not going to do nearly as much of a crescendo as the bassoon. Okay, good. So what do we have so far? Put some sparkly celeste and stuff on top of this. Should I test out something? I actually really like those together. That's really nice. For some reason, my brass, the brass legato transitions are just much less. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Are much less. Um, aggressive in Hollywood Brass. <sighs> okay. Love it. Okay, let's add some viola. This would actually put it below the cello. Let's see if it sounds good. Oh, not. <laughs> can't do F sharp when there's enough chord. It's just too loud right now. It's just too loud right now. Nope, all of them. Uh, 
Let's check our score, which is not quite yet quantized. So this is nice diminished chord sort of idea. Oh logic, why do you spell notes so badly? Why could my note transitions be bad? This doesn't need to be. This doesn't need to be legato here. I love these new these new patches that I put in this template. I know I say it every time, but I just love it. What if we did uh, pizzicato up here? But something sort of John Williamsy almost. Something, uh... It's so late. And now we're going to have our maybe oboe. Good, except for the last note. This new uh, piano roll is interesting. I'm not 100% sure I love it. But uh, there are improvements that I definitely do appreciate. So the, it's it's weird to me. Hollywood strings doesn't care about note timing. Like it wants good sound, and it leaves it up to you to sort of. You see, sometimes I'll go in and grab a note on the piano roll and scoot it over just a hair, just to start a little bit early, so that the transition is on time. In Hollywood, wins. I think it was programmed by different people because if the notes do not start, if they're not perfectly quantized. It sounds really late, and it's really weird. Ya -da -da -da. Hello, drummer boy. How's it going?
Yes, but let's just put a little little phrase through here so that ba 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 we should have a pretty good I think once it's doubled on something else it'll sound a little nicer I could go in and turn down the transition volume a little more too Edmund, Edmund, droid, droid, yes, absolutely. Make sure I get those chords right. It's um. So it's just D and D and F sharp minor. Yeah, ask away. Whenever uh I think this here is a B chord. Here's the B chord. Not sure we lost the oboe on that last note. Not too bad. Just gotta just kind of get in there and do all the. So I'm gonna use the bass clarinet here too. I think it uses expression. I think it can just stay on. That's nice. I'm looking to be a music producer for every outlet, including TV, commercials, films, video games, hip hop, pop, etc. Ambitious goals. I am tied between a few DAWs. Which ones have you used just out of curiosity? I learned originally on Digital Performer on Mac. Um, back That would be back in sort of like uh, 2005 to 2007, so a while ago because I'm old. Um, uh, Digital Performer, um, which I like. I actually still have it installed on this machine, but I don't use it because I'm just a little bit more proficient in logic. I have also briefly, and by briefly I mean like maybe spent 10 or 15 hours in, in Cubase. Um, obviously it's it's widely um, loved throughout the industry. You know, people love that one. Um, I personally really like logic. It's where I have the most time in. Um, I uh, started um, back on in the Logic 8 days. Um, Logic 9 uh, was sort of what I've probably spent the most time in. Um, and then, oh, actually, I've probably got more time in Logic 10 now. It's been out for long enough. So those are the ones I've, I've done. Of them, I personally like Logic the best. It's really a personal decision. Um, I always tell people, you know, when you're looking at a DAW, whichever one works for your workflow, none of them are so substantially better than the other that you can't make good things. Um, they all really sound good. So whatever works for your workflow. I mean, you know, I know a lot of people. My brother does a lot of um, sort of more contemporary ambient music. He worked in Reaper for a long time. Uh, I've got another composer friend from college who used to work in in Reason, actually, in their sequencer. Um, that one I would tend to shy away from, but um, but it's good. You're debating between Reaper and Reason? Um... 
Reason is good. I, I have a hard time with reason because it's so tied to the reason sample libraries. I mean, you can use a third party libraries with it, but it's a little bit clunky, a little bit awkward. Um, if you're going to want to be doing, you know, audio with a lot of audio, which I would expect you would get as a producer in pop and stuff, um, I would, I would suggest, I mean, I would suggest Reaper first. Um, I'm seeing from uh, Ribna that uh, Reason has, uh, I'm sorry, Ribna that uh, Reason can do audio and, and can do third party stuff. Um, I have not used it in probably two or three versions, so I can't really speak to how good it is. I would tend to shy away from it just because of my experience. Um, if you really, really want to be proficient in an industry where you're going to be mixing audio, really what you're going to eventually have to learn, and it's kind of a sad truth, is Pro Tools because that's the standard. So that's what people are going to want to be exporting to you um, and stuff. So. It's kind of up to you. Um, if Reason works for you, I would never tell someone that, hey, that works for you. Stop using it. It's bad. Oops. We don't want to get rid of that. Um, so. Does this really not use expression? Oh, it doesn't. Well, that's helpful. <laughs> Let me switch this. It just depends on, on what you're comfortable with. I mean, you can probably make anything work. I'm still getting weird legato transitions. This may cause me to drop frames, but I'm going to go check it because it's annoying me. That oboe is still super transition-y. What's the big reason you don't use Logic? Let's drop it to minus five. Much better. I just don't know why at the end it's we're, we're losing, I guess this is dropping too aggressively. What was I thinking here? Um, I have not noticed a ton. Um, I think uh, Logic is not a good VST host. Uh, if you're using VSTs directly in Logic, it does not um, it does not do well when the VSTs are hosted directly in Logic. I host everything in Vienna. Um, on different machines, um, which is an expensive setup. Not everybody can do it, and that's there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I used to use Vienna locally. Like, I would set up a local server on the local machine I was on and host it through there, and even then I saw performance improvements. So I don't think Logic is optimized as well for large templates that have huge numbers of VST instruments that are hosted directly in Logic. It is designed... I think it's more designed as an audio thing, so when you're doing VSTs, it's it's a little unhappy. But Vienna, the, Vienna fixes everything, so. Why is this transition so... This transition is terrible. That's better. Yeah, this is... I like this. I like the way that's going. So what we'll probably do is put strings behind us. I want to hear what it sounds like with them. Do we just want high strings? No problem, man. Actually, I don't like the strings. They're kind of... They're kind of... They're kind of... Um, What's Ada Chiles doing? Doing uh, piano sounding stuff. So we're gonna go. Yeah, 
Yeah, absolutely. Um, if you are, yeah, if you're if you're running, yeah, four gig of RAM to eight gig, um, is gonna be it's gonna be a struggle, but it does work with modern samples. If you can do an SSD with that setup, I think it will help your life a lot. Um, even if you can do like a USB three SSD, that would really if you're running large VSTs that will really help you. I, I work with VSTs, so I'm not working obviously with, with audio directly at this point. I'm using a sample. So um so I really when I see eight gig of RAM or four gig of RAM, I'm like, ooh, you know, like that's that's gonna have to have a hard time. But um but with audio I'm not I'm not sure. I don't have a ton of experience just like mixing, you know, wave files. This all is one take. Mm, I don't know. Hey, I gotta go answer a package. I'll be right back. Okay. That's some wine coming in the mail. You got to sign for it. The O was too loud. Whew. Sorry, I'm a little winded. I ran up and down the stairs, and I'm old. I like that better, but now these are too loud. Fortunately, we don't have complex. Yeah, I can see emulative software like a like you said, an amp simulator or a convolution reverb. Really, I mean, I started on uh, twenty. It was a 2011 iMac. I mean, yes, it was a maxed out iMac, so it was the 32 gig RAM. Um, but I mean, it was like on the first generation, second generation i7. Um, it was hard, and I mean, it was on a 7200 RPM drive. It was hard, but it worked. And actually, even before then, I was doing stuff on um, on a on an old Mac MacBook Pro that was oh man, how old was that? That would have been like 2009 era. So that would have been uh, like the Core 2 Duo when I was doing uh, really early stuff. So equipment as a composer, I don't know about producing because I don't do a lot of producing, but um, as a composer, you know, never blame your tools. Just do the best you can with what you have. And then when you get better tools, you'll be better with them. I know so many people. Sorry, it's hard to talk and play. Uh, I know a lot of people who thought, oh, it's just until I finally get a great thing, didn't practice, didn't get good on their, on what they had. And when they finally got the big gig, they, they struggled a lot and, you know, most of them came through it, but, uh, but you know, you don't want to be, oh yeah, I finally got my perfect dream studio. And then you're really bad at, at actually 
you know, coming up with ideas. And now we're going to switch instruments again for the end of this phrase. So at 25, we're going to repeat that opening motif in the pits stuff. 25 is what I said, right? Hey, Junie. Got an active chat today. That's always nice. So we're going to increase vibrato to about here, and then it's going to decrease. Let's smooth out that curve a little, make it sound a little bit more human. No worries, no worries. On Monday we had a really, really low chat. That's okay. I mean... What, what what am I doing? <laughs> Maybe we can go. I like that. Let's see if it sounds good with. Um, I know the I know the pain. Twitch I think has a hard time with 1080p streams because I'm on, I'm not on amazing internet. I'm not on the best internet in the world, but it, it streams 1080p to Twitch better than um than I can watch it sometimes. We just need this flute to sort of drop off elegantly and with uh, poise and class here on this. I don't think we need any super overdone phrasing in this flute part. I do have audio prioritized in OBS, so it will drop frames before it drops audio, hopefully. Or at least, I think I had it set up like that at one point. I couldn't handle more than 1080p up anyway. I um, I use a business connection, um, so it's at a lower speed, but it's at a, a very reliable quality. Like when I get, you know, it's like a, I can't remember what the, let's say the package is 10 down, 5 up. Um, I get 10 down, 5 up all the time, no matter what. And it never, it's just rock solid. Um, because, not for streaming, but for when I'm like uploading, you know, a giant wave file to a client, I do not want it going up to, you know, 75 up and then down to 256 up, which is what you'll sometimes get on the, which was a problem I was having with the more consumer grade stuff, so. Oh, I see, I see, I see. It'll transcode on Twitch's servers, that makes sense. I used to stream at 1440p, but my internet was <laughs> not happy with that. The the five up I get did not like that. I mean, even at 1080p, we've dropped 59 frames today. Granted, that's 0.1%, but I really like streaming. It's nice to have interaction while you work. 
this transition, that transition is, is really sudden. How can we make this better? I think if we kept these strings up. Let's keep the strings up. So our chords there are, let's look. Uh, our chords are D, F minor, F sharp minor, D, F sharp minor. Uh, let's do this. Let's keep this going. I feel like I'm missed, missing a chord. Da, 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 da. Oh, I am missing a chord. Let's do that again. I can do better. Now, I should probably be a little bit more... I, I mean, I guess if this were orchestrated for real orchestra, we could maybe do a split. We could do like half the cellos on the pits, half them on the slur, but this transition, these transitions right here between pits and slur are too close. That was too late because it's on time. I'm actually only gonna I'm actually gonna leave these note velocities fairly similar. I'm just gonna nudge this one over. There we go. Okay, thirds of chords. Yeah, I actually didn't even know that the non-affiliated, non-partner Twitch people didn't get as many quality options for viewers. I guess it makes sense. It's probably very resource intensive on their end to be transcoding thousands of people's streams. And if you've, if you've only got two viewers, <laughs> which is our current view count according to my dashboard, I can understand why they don't want to. That's much more. Now the question is, do we want to add a solo string to this? We might not use the sample, but let's see what it sounds like. I don't like that. Let's try the other solo violin sample. I have viola playing down here. It's uh, it's filling out the chords down here. We could try a V2 flautando though. <coughs> Ooh. I was looking at, uh, let me show you. I, I won't play it because it'll kill my ability to export this to YouTube, but um, I was listening to a John Williams piece. Where is the... Yeah, it's Lord P.S. I was looking to a John Williams piece yesterday. Um, let me find it. And I was looking at the way he orchestrates a few sections of music, and um, I was really fascinated at the way he uh, tripled the melody in octaves. So I was watching this, and again, the audio is not going to come through, but um, look at this. 
right here. But da 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 da. It's um. Let's see what it is. It is violin one plus piccolo, piccolo and oboe on the top note. Violin two plus oboe on the second note, and uh, cellos and bassoons. So it is tripled in three octaves. That is like that is some seriously heavy orchestration there. But it doesn't sound it. It sounds very sort of light and airy as it's supposed to. But anyway. Really great channel, by the way. This guy, Tomk, Tomke Kobayalka. I, I, you can see it there. Um, that's how you spell it right there. Um, really great uh, orchestral reductions of film scores that he does himself, or she does herself, or he does himself, and I'm not sure. Um, really wonderful resource. Have you tried another DAW? I have. I've tried um, film score analysis is really great too. I'll have to check that out. I have tried um, DP, Digital Performer. I have also used quite extensively. I think we want some harp in here. Maybe an octaves? Oh, that's right. We don't do a different... <laughs> we do a variation of it. Let's play correctly. What chord are we on there? Yeah, let's just do some nice angelic hop chords. Oh, it goes straight into F there. Something's wrong about that. So. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. That's nice. If so, how do you compare it with Logic? I never use Logic, but I see a lot of composers using it. Um. Digital Performer is a very excellent piece of software that has a um, very long lineage. I find it a little bit more awkward in its region management. Um, I really like the way that Logic usually makes really intelligent guesses about the when you move. Like if I move this region around, it moves it pretty. It, it snaps it to tracks. It snaps it to beats. Um, you can set DP to do that, but by default, it's sort of very a lot more fluid about the way it moves things around. Um, I have not used the most recent versions of DP very much. Um, back when I used to use it a lot, I found a lot of its MIDI routing interface to be a little bit obtuse, I guess is a, the word I would use. Um, and Logic being made by Apple sort of, I find, mimics the system MIDI routing a little bit more closely, uh, I guess. Um, I like Logic. A lot of people really don't like Logic. It, it, really, just like I was saying before to uh, Edmund Droid, who was, who was asking about DAWs, whatever DAW works for you, use that. Because no DAW is so much better than another DAW that it's worth giving up a good workflow for. If you've got a good workflow in Reason, awesome. If you've got a good workflow in like Audacity, awesome. Use that. I feel like we have to continue this harp thing. <laughs> Play the right chords. What we need here is a harp glissando. Somewhere in there, maybe. Mm 
No. Maybe on that E chord? I like I like Logic. Um, I wish they had a free trial for people to use. Uh, Cubase does, I believe, have a free trial, so that's nice. You can go download it, try it out, see how it goes. You can't. I don't think you can export or save. Or there's a you know, it's got a bunch of uh, importing videos. Yeah, Logic does importing videos pretty well. You just say uh, file, add movie. You know, Digital Performer. I would look at Digital Performer. Digital Perform. If you're doing video, Digital Performer. Has a long history in the in the film industry uh, and has very uh, really really very good video support. Um, I believe, um, or so I've heard. Um, the reason I learned on Digital Performer was at the time I was uh, I had a composition teacher who um, came from film. Uh, his name was Neil Argo. He did a lot of you know he did uh, did some music on like Beverly Hills 90210, you know, in the nineties and. Um, uh, has done a bunch of independent films, a National Geographic documentary. Uh, he did Wild America, uh, if you've ever heard that. Uh, let's see if I can... I don't remember. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, ba. Anyway, um, so and he'd always use DP because he was told that Digital Performer was the standard, the thing. So he is always working in Digital Performer. I think nowadays in film, Pro Tools is sort of maybe eaten into its market share a little bit. So uh, I do not like Avid, uh, but that's a personal thing that I have with Avid. Um, let's just try straight up copy pasting this uh, because they killed my favorite engraving software. Well, they didn't kill it. They changed it in a way that I didn't like. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this the, vi the second violin on that. Pro tip: This works in in sample libraries too if they're made nicely. Uh, your second violin section is usually just a little bit smaller than your first violin section. Has a little bit more of a closer, intimate sound. So sometimes it's nice to give them melodic content um, and let your first violins save those first violins for those big moments I don't want this to have that much vibrato, vibrato though although we will increase it through this note Let's put in a, what about a boy choir? Ba, 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 ba. My chords here are, I can't remember ever. Let's see. Choir always sounds good. It's a little, it's a little aggressive. Let's try a, not a boy choir. Let's try a, just a women's section. No, I don't like it. What about just a line? Like, ooh, ooh. oh, no, <laughs> not that one. I believe DP has a trial. Of course, we'll go back to the, oop. Let me redo whatever I just changed. It's too loud, but I think it works. This is a great sample library from uh, 8DO, by the way. Liberis. I wish I had a word builder. Really, it doesn't respond to expression at all? It responds inversely to expression? I'm not crazy, right? 
And then this is the loudest. Weird. Real weird. Copy this harp thing over too. Mark tree, mark tree, mark tree, mark tree time. what's going to happen here. I think I like where this is, so I'm going to save this. Nice, close, kind of intimate, kind of in the background. A little bit bouncy with those pit strings. A little bit pretty with that nice melody. Um, not in the way. Going to stay out of the way. It does use mod wheel. It does use mod wheel. Um, which is why I wrote some mod wheel into it. But typically, Mod Wheel will control your, at least in my experience, will control your tone color volume, tone color influence volume. So the difference between, and then it gets the tone color changes to a brassy version through the note. And expression will typically control sort of your absolute volume. So it won't change the tone color. It'll just bring the, the whole thing down, you know. Or let's, let's bring it to super brassy. So that's as loud as that one will go. Notice it's really quiet, but it's still brassy with expression. So, you, but usually it's not inverse like that. <laughs> That's really strange. Sometimes ATO stuff uses the expression controller for literally like uh, expression controls, like um, portamento and slur, like length and volume. Their strings do that, which is confuses the hell out of me <laughs> when I do it because east west is exactly opposite. Okay, we need to add a second melody here, and I actually have a bunch of melodies from this game that I want to use that I've already sort of written for the game. So I'm going to go grab one of those and just figure out what it is. You're not going to be able to hear it, maybe? Probably not. Yeah, you can't hear it. What do I do in this one? We could go into that that ba -da -da -D sort of idea, the D, F minor, F sharp minor thing. Let's see. Hold on. Just got to grab another melody here. Here, I guess I can add this to the. It doesn't. It's not. I, I don't know how to add Finder. To my audio routing. Let's find out if this works. Oh, it does. Yeah, that's an old theme that we're not using. This might be a nice one to move into. in a different really? let's try this one I've been working in this game for like two years <laughs> so there's a bunch of stuff I have built up
this is a two. I try to. I've been trying to be real good about streaming at least three times a week: Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Usually in the mornings, sometimes in the afternoons. So that is my schedule. Hopefully, it, my time. So it is currently 11 a.m. my time. So. Let's try this one. That's in a different key, but what is it in A? Um, where's my piano? Yeah. No. We get, it sort of has this, a lot of the stuff that I, that I wrote sort of prospectively for this game has this one chord to three chords sort of, um, uh, what's the movie? Nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> Or Seal Lullaby, which last time I showed on stream got my YouTube taken down by the YouTube archive <laughs> or muted or whatever. We could just rip off. What about ripping off Spirited Away? What do you think? Rip off spirited away completely. Just take the whole melody. God, I love that melody. What is it? What it what was it? So let's let's keep this idea of going to here. What are we gonna do though? So that's the same chords that we've been using. Let's do a piano here. Let's try it. Let's just see what it sounds like. Blech. I should practice piano more often. Okay, that's terribly recorded with all sorts of mistakes. Like that note. But I just want to see what does it sound like to transition into that. Let's find out. We need to hear this mark tree. Yes, we're doing this. I like that. order of the chords. So instead of going A, sh A major to C sharp minor, what if we went A major to the F major that we were doing before to C sharp minor? Sounds a little grim, actually. No, this is not for Starbound, so we can't use that. I 
do like piano here. Yes, yes, yes. Zone. We're in the zone. We're in the zone. Let's do it. So we just went. So we need to start on E. Love it. It's a little awkward harmonically, I think. So we might fix it a little. We'll see. Oh. I like that D, sh D sharp in there. I'm gonna work it. I'm gonna make I'm gonna fill it out. I'm not sure about the last four measures. We're gonna do choir with it too because it's gonna sound gorgeous. If I ever became a part of your channel, I think I would have to be an emote. Zoom, 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 zoom. Um. Let's try that just as backer, as filler. I don't love it, but I think it might just be the vowel. And I think it also might be better. See, here's another thing, east-west, right? Everything expression, everything expression. Expression does volume in almost everything in, in. Uh, I guess, no, never mind. It does make sense for this to be modulation because it changes the tone color. Ugh. What if it was an ooh instead of an ah? We're going to drop some frames here. Connecting up to Puccini. Sample server. SSA. Player. Word builder. Let's do just ooh and see what happens. Hi, Bart. No, I wanted ooh. Why isn't that ooh? Isn't ooh capital O? Or is it little o? Let's isolate this region and figure out what our Votox is for. Ooh, I could have sworn it was capital O. Oh, it is. It's just a really bright O. Oh, I wish it was more of a pure ooh when they recorded it, but this will work. It has too much overtone in it. We could probably make it work. Let's try that. Two, three. And they're still on O because they're on a separate 
instance. Ugh, this mic is driving me nuts today. Let's go fix that. Drop some frames. So I was right. Capital O. So now we should have a nice ooh sound. Let's just get rid of the screen sharing session. I think if there were strings with it, it would be fine. Uh oh. Oh, good. I think just strings. I'm going to cheat and use the flatondo patch. Oh, I'm sorry. Someone asked, what's my uh, go-to percussion library? Um, uh, it's probably a... Um, I'm sorry, Junie. Uh, it's probably a... Uh, I don't know. It's a mix. Uh, I all my orchestral percussion is from Hollywood Orchestra, so it's Hollywood percussion. Um, I love this. Uh, their uh, heaviosity makes a really nice, um, really nice percussion. Uh, called, this is uh, Ensemble Metals and Ensemble Woods. For those days you need that like super epic sound, um, Storm Drum Three also has really nice tycos in it. So it just depends. Those are kind of my favorites that I have loaded right now, but there's 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 other good stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know. figure out what chord this is. Measure 37, I didn't want to commit. It is an E chord, of course. Bart is from the Staxel team, by the way, so if you have any questions about Staxel, <laughs> don't bug him, he's probably fixing bugs anyway. <laughs> Just as a note about Staxel, uh, I am just super impressed at the amount. Like, I'm in their dev chat a lot in their in their uh, communication, and the amount of um, attention that they are paying to people who are reporting not just bugs, but like asking for features. Like the amount of work that they're doing now that the game is released is is really impressive. So if you are worried about that being abandoned, where you don't need to be, because it's they are working hard, all of them. What is that chord? What chord are we looking for? 40. 40 is a, oh, let's see, E? Yeah. I have my key signature set as E major. I'm dumb. 43, what's our chord? Um, F sharp minor. F sharp, D, B, E. And I think this is A. This is the one that's weird. It's at 47 that everything kind of get, gets strange. A. Yep.
every time I, it hits that A chord at 47, I go, that's not the one I was expecting. That sounds awkward. And then it like resolves nicely. I'm torn. We'll, we'll leave it how it is, and maybe we can we can always come back and mess with it later if it like continues to annoy me. I think we're to add some flute. That will fix it right there, adding a melody. Um, <laughs> adding a melody fixes it. <laughs> so. Yeah, so starting at this F sharp minor chord. I need this to be, hold on. Yeah, that'll just give me some. So we're starting at, da, da, da. yeah, starting at 41. fix some minor problems in that. Ha ha ha, minor problems. Let's bring these up to about here. And let's loop this for a second, and let's solo our woodwinds, and let's just sculpt it. Someday I'll have a breath controller and then I can do this a lot more human. Da, da, da. I actually like this one. Da. I think uh, if we did this. We're gonna add some Celesto too. Maybe some Glock. So let's add the, the chalice now. Actually, I think, you know what? <laughs> Perfect. All right, let's listen to the whole thing. Bassoon combo. I'm gonna put some tempo flexibility in here too, I think. Ooh. We'll work on that transition.
what 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 is up with that transition? It's because Why is that transition so aggressively ridiculous? Need to s <laughs> sneeze. It's like super aggressive. Why? <laughs> My guess is that it has to do with the way that I'm moving the expression controller. Let's move the expression controller down. Why is that note so much louder than the others? What if we did this? That I think I fixed it. Pardon me, I need to go get a Kleenex. I didn't realize I was must be getting a cold or something. I'm gonna let this play while I'm gone. Be right back. Live at 11, man sneezes on the internet. Okay. Sounds weird. Okay. We're going to do a little new material and it's going to be pits again because we don't want to get too far away from that. Let's change time signatures to. Let's go to a duple meter, like four. You want to go to his da, but it's too low. Good. More viola pizzicato? This will give our viol violins a chance to get in here.
play a Gliss wrong and... Good. Except for we just want that to peak at its bing right at... Uh... Yeah, we just want this to be like maybe here. Nope, don't quantize that. Yep, exactly. Wrong. Also not in four anymore. That's okay. One. I just need to switch it. I need the the thing that's messing me up is the time signature wrong. T. T. D. T. There we go. <laughs> oh, nope. Not tempo. Signature. Go back to 3 4. This is another theme. I just gotta. It's like the easiest piano part in the world, and I always mess it up. Okay. I bet you that goes too long, doesn't it? Is that a hangover? Oh, no, it doesn't. Shocking. Okay. So we're sort of vacillating in between these. this pretty... Celeste come in on just the melody, wherever my Celeste is. Celesta, Celeste, Celesta. Is it Celeste or Celesta? I feel like there, there is super lots of disagreement on this point. Just a couple of notes that are wrong.
that's so wrong. Uh, ba -da -ba. It should be A, right? Should be an A. That's an A. Oh, that's a B. <laughs> should be an A. Very nice. Okay. I like this region track toggle that they have now. The strings are going to come in here too. these powerful system smooth string notes. It's pretty much everything I've been waiting for, or looking for. And I, I, I've always shied away from the powerful system folders, and I don't know why, because I mean, I run them all on their own sample server, so. We're going to be a little lazy with our voicing. Or we're going to completely suck at everything. Let's try that again. These need to be super quiet because they're the thirds of the chords. And we're going to double those top notes in the... starting at 60. It goes to like a, in the original version, it goes to a um, augmented chord next. We actually need those strings to largely crescendo 
there. Let's write in that crescendo. Same thing here, a little crescendo followed by a big crescendo. I know I'm not smoothing these. I should smooth them. Just a little bit. I think the next chord is ba 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 ba. Really, the next chord I go to A flat. Yep, that's the next two chords. It's actually E first. sharp at the end. We'll find out. What happened? What 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 did what did I do? What did I break? Wow, this was so late or so early that it quantizes it way over there. And then what that will lead back into is this theme here, which we're going to have to, we may transpose this to E. No, we're not. <laughs> uh, I meant this theme. Actually, I meant this whole segment. Zoom, 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 zoom. Still a weird little slur there we need to work on in the strings. All the strings are doing it too. this sound like in E? Transform, transpose, we're going to transpose up. Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yep. This may, fair warning headphone users, this may sound terrible. I'm not sure what's going to happen here when we get to the newly transposed stuff. I mean, I guess it won't be too loud, but it may just sound horrible. transpose this stuff too and it starts right after that it starts right after that uh, except for the mark tree
Yep, up seven, seven semitones is a long way to go. I like it. I really like that. I like that in E. It's like blasting in my face. We're going to probably do horns here. Let's let's add that. Let's fill this out. Oh man, augmented chords are so cool. So this is a move from an E major to what I think of as an A flat augmented, just because it's it's spelled that way as A flat C E natural, because normally it would be E na E flat and it goes to E natural, so now it's augmented. Um, but because an a flat augmented chord is made up of the same three pitches that an E major augmented chord is made of because you cannot trans you cannot um, transpose you cannot uh, what's the word I'm searching for flip invert you cannot invert um, augmented chords they don't invert because so um, if I just think this is the coolest thing. I mean, it's nothing special. Everybody knows it, but I just love it. So for those of you who are not theory people, if we do a new empty project and we add a piano into it, sure, that's fine. Or Dorico could totally crash. Um. you make an E major chord. Let's write that in the bass clef. Actually, let's just do an orange part. So there's an E major chord, right? E, G sharp, B. If I want to augment that, I take this B and I make it into a B sharp. Now, notice something, first of all, that this is still a G sharp because Dorico is following music convention. So now I have E, G sharp, and what should be called, this should be spelled B sharp, right? Now, what it also is, is if we take this chord and we flip it again one more time, so we're gonna take the bottom note, move it up an octave, leave the other two the same. Oops, I did it in an octave lower. Um, what we get is that, which, again, we can spell this as an A flat. Uh, I'm not sure how to make we can spell this as an A flat. Okay, these are the same three pitches as what we started with. See, we have the G sharp, which is now spelled as an A flat. They're the same pitch, exact same pitch. We've got the E natural, which is now moved to the top. And we have, this was a B, right? It was made into a B sharp, or as it is notated here a C. So an A flat augmented chord and an E chord, or, or I'm sorry, an A flat augmented chord and an E augmented chord are the same three pitches. They, so they don't invert because it just becomes another um, uh, augmented chord. Just now the root is what the third of your last chord was, which is really cool. So in this section right here, when we move from right here, we move from E, and we just move that up to like this. It's actually just like an A-flat chord. So I think of this as an A-flat chord, not an E chord, even though technically you could spell it either way, which I, I just think that's so weird and neat. And it's going to sound really nice on the horns. <laughs> Yeah, 
yeah, that's okay, other than that last D natural that I added. We don't need that D sharp in this. How high is this bassoon part? Oh, that is high for a bassoonist. Or like right of spring high at this point. Okay, so we're getting there, we're getting there. Okay, so at this point, I think the structure is okay. It's it might you know we might revisit it, but let's let's let the structure be, and let's just see if we can kind of massage all the rough edges out. Let's see if we can sort of smooth them down. Um, there are some transitions that aren't great. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we end up with. Let's zoom the whole piece out, and let's find some places where we need to sort of go in and do some detail work. This heart part is too loud. Let's bring it down to maybe 80, 90% of the volume. That's better. And we're gonna do, is this where it does that? Yeah, we're gonna take this feel of pits section and we're gonna put it on the I don't know. Actually, let's put it on the trombones. They haven't had any time to do anything. Excuse me. Man sneezes. Okay. Um. So let's do trombones here. Very quietly, just barely, just plopping along up there. Bunk, bunk, bunk. Oh, that sounds so nice. <laughs> the chords there are not quite right. Let me just... So I'm going to D too early. I'm going to be there. I kind of like it. I'm going to leave it. Let's fix this. This just needs to be a little earlier. Oh! Just needs filler. Something like that. I think, um, I think low pits will be the first thing we do is we add some pizzicato in the celli to fill this out just a little bit. We may even add the bases.
We may add the trombones again, because right now they just play that beginning, which is kind of weird. G natural when it should have been an A, that was fantastic. Where's the G natural? Right here. <laughs> At least I did it twice, so it's easy to move. Bum, 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 bum. Yes. And in fact we're gonna we're gonna double that. That's gonna we're gonna add some bases. We haven't had any bases this whole time. Let's see what they sound like at that octave, just in perfect the same. Phil! Nice to see you. Ooh, it's better an octave lower. Of course it is. And it moves us back into that pits thing better. I yeah, I think moving that harp run would be nice. Okay, we're fixing this now. I'm so tired of this. Who is causing the stupid it's you the stupid transition? And you. I blame cellos and violins. See, so so working with samples, fine. You have to go move the sample. It works. Um, working with players, man, you just glare at them. Just glare at the violas or the the violins and the cellos. Hey, be on time. Still getting it. Hey, if it sounds good, Phil, you know, I mean, the only thing that matters is what's effective. That's it. That's all that matters. Make it effective. Don't blame your tools. It's never your tools. It's nice to have nice samples. Oh, you've put some nice stuff up on SoundCloud. I think you do a good job. A lot of that music box stuff you did a while back was really nice. Well, the 80s were not a bad time. Chat, I'm really worried about this bassoon legato line in E. It is like super high, super high. It is so high for a bassoon. I mean, it sounds beautiful with the sample, but I mean, we're getting to like, I think, I mean, we're talking right of spring here. Let's see if it's the same one. Let's see if it's the same. Bets, take bets in the chat. Is it the same? Is it the same? As the Rite of Spring, let's find out today. Here's the Rite of Spring. Let's take a look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so C, D, so it's C, D, E, F, G. Wait. Sorry. C on 
this line here. Sorry, I really hate Tenorclaw. Can I zoom? No, of course not. Okay. C on this line, that makes this D, that makes this line E, that makes this face F, that makes this line G, that makes this line A. Okay. Yep, it's the same as the right of spring. That is way too high. We can't, we absolutely cannot do that. Where's your flute? We got a flute here. Look at this. We got a nice flute. There's a flute. Um, we're going to move this to a different instrument here. I think, let's try alto flute. This is solidly an alto flute land. I mean, it's it's playable and it sounds nice, but <laughs> the sample sounds really good. But now we need to get rid of this horn because the alto foot and the horn don't mix. And I think a horn is gonna. Mostly cover it up in real life anyway. I definitely like this. But let's listen to our winds. Because that elbow is like really high too. Oh! I think we're gonna have to put that onto a flute too. Flute, flute, flute. Where's our flute legato line? There we go. Sounds better. So right now, our trombones do nothing other than this opening little bunk, bunk, bunk thing right here. So we need to find some places to give them something interesting to do. Probably just some chords to fill out, which is fine. Still getting weird legato there. here does it sound good to have them just like oh it sounds beautiful yay trombones let's do some trombone chords through this section that's supposed to be a D chord So those sound really good, so I don't want to mess them up by continuing on. So let's just carefully put in everything. Okay. Bob. Oh, why so loud? Yeah, we need to give them like more, more, more than just like chord, chord, chord to do. Like even just going like chord, bum, bum. Sounds so much nicer. Okay, let's do that. Helps to play the piano correctly.
here we can go. I don't, the only thing I don't like about that, the only thing, is going to the open D chord at the end, so we won't. Cool. Cool. Maybe a little bit of volume changes. Let's fix this. Let's let's change this. I liked where it was before, but I like it better. We have to change it to an A chord. Phil, I'm sorry, I think we're gonna have to move this flute. What if we, okay, so earlier we did oboe, then flute. What if we did flute, then oboe? So let's, we're gonna need to move this down because this is gonna sound like a screeching death owl at that. I don't know, I think I like this. I don't think I like this alto flute here, Phil. I'm so sorry. Let's try and make it a little quieter. I mean, it is, We maybe we can just make it quieter. Hold on, let's try. I'm not loving the tone color though. Or maybe we can just, What what if we did what if we did I'm gonna save the alto flute. This is gonna sound so bad. Let's uh just put the notes there so that I stop trying to transpose it into E in my head and failing horribly. Nope, that's not what I asked you to do. I went over here and I grabbed all of these notes and not their Where's my trumpet legato? Right there. Okay. Okay. I can I can live with that. So yeah, it's it's. Uh, 
It's good. It's good. And I, I like its use of the theme in a context that is more um, sort of lighthearted. I mean, originally this was very, you know, piano, very emotional. Uh, writ. I mean, yeah, originally it was. Originally. Let's see if I can find the original version. Is this it? Yeah, this is the original version. Big, giant. mixed particularly well. <laughs> Here's your writ fill. So that was the original sort of really big orchestral statement. I wanted to take the same ideas, kind of kind of scale them back, scale them down into something that's a little bit more subtle and out of the way, right? Game music, out of the way. I mean, this is lovely, but it's so big and expressive. And th there's probably a place in the soundtrack where we're going to do that, but... Strings only. Oh, and brass. No, no, clarinet. So... I mean, instead of that huge orchestral sound we have. This cello seems a little aggressive to me. Fix that. D, 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 D. Right now, something is messing up its transitions. Yeah, because these are all late. These two need to be. Actually, I think it's not the, the 
It's the overlap. Still a little late. Right there. Better. Um, I like this. I'm not sure I like the, um, all the notes there, but I want to fix the volume first. Too. This note. Uh, we're gonna make that sort of the staple thing of this track. That idea that that chimble and what MIDI keyboard am I using? I am using a Nectar. Um, Nectar Impact LX88 Plus. Oh! Almost knocked something off my desk. This one. You can see that. Uh, it's kind of new. It's uh, not super expensive for a MIDI controller. It's expensive on sort of a objective basis. I think I paid like 300 for it. Um, that one, if you can see it, is my old... M audio just their key station uh one of the the a a440 on that one doesn't work anymore so i had to get a new one oh and hello blue shirt 13 welcome no problem Okay, let's fix this harmony because this is annoying me now. Because what it's supposed to be is ba ba ba, then there's the B. So this is supposed to be here. So this is going to be wrong for a second. What is it during? Da da da. I just gotta fix this harmony, guys. Sorry. It's supposed to be a D. What is this note before it? That's a B. What? No. See. Ah, this is where it's wrong. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is wrong. Those are just switched. And it starts too early. Oh, and these are all wrong now. No, these are fine. All right, here's what we're going to do. Stupid. <laughs> What is during da? What the heck? Why? Ugh. <sighs> bum bum. C sharp minor. F. D. D. B. Yeah, it is that. That is weird the way that is wrong. I promise I did write this music. I know how it goes. So that's definitely right. That much is right. Ugh. Maybe it's just it's it's two measures of B. Maybe that's what I'm hearing. That is totally right right there. Let's just record it in. Record it incorrectly. Okay, it doesn't sound wrong when I do it that way, so. Where's my, uh, okay, so I can use that as a guide track because apparently I'm a weirdo and can't remember chords. It goes into that too fast too, but that's okay. That's just a, like, this is a variation thing. Okay. Sometimes I'm like, I don't even want to change that because it doesn't sound terrible. It's just not the exactly correct chords. And this is why, because sometimes I go back and things just get a little bit weird. Um, violas. So we want thirds of chords. Let's do actually a fifth here. Tch. 
What is your best advice to young composers? Don't screw up your MIDI playing. Practice more. I'm hitting E. Why are you not showing me the score? Hmm. Okay. I promise this is this is the time. No, it's not. This is the time. No, it's not. Okay. I need to bring up the score in a separate window. I'm not gonna be able to look at chat for a minute. It doesn't even give me that option when that's not open. Or when that's open. Oh no, it's on the window. I can uh, I think we're running on uh fumes here. I think I need to take a break. Zoom 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 zoom. Okay. Finally, here we go. Jeez, I don't know why that was so hard. Yeah, I'm getting real punchy with the, with the keystrokes here. I was trying to hit Command A and I hit Command uh, or Command J and I hit Command H, which hid logic. Is this a good level for that? At least the chords are right now. I think I'm gonna have to go replace them over here. Right. <laughs> yep, the drunk. Just having a hard day here. Not really. Actually, it's been a lovely day as far as. Oh, 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 oh. I know what's wrong. Yes, please. And Phil is right, a writ here would be nice. Edit. Tempo operations. Lower the tempo.
don't quantize. Don't quantize. Something like that will be the end. That's a little weird, but... Okay, it has been two hours and 34 minutes, and um, I've been concentrating for essentially that long, almost uninterrupted, so I am going to take a little bit of a break and be back later this afternoon. It is about 12.39 my time, so I'll probably be back on in about an hour, or maybe two, so one o'clock, two o'clock. Um, on Monday, I said, oh, I'll be back in the afternoon, and then I never was because um, the youngling became ill, and... Uh, I had to go get him. I think he's better. I don't think that's going to be a problem today. But do note that sometimes that afternoon gets... Let's see what it sounds like with a chimbalin. Oh, that's a nice ending. Um, the young leg sometimes... <laughs> has a difficult afternoon at school, so I may have to go get him if he is um, ill, which I don't think he is. He was not seeming at all ill this morning, but... Uh, yeah, we'll probably put some, like... We'll probably do another piece for this, uh, for this game. Maybe work on this one a little more. Um... So yeah, that's the plan. Be back in about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. I might be back about two my time. So, because I might actually get sucked into Monster Hunter. What? What did he say? Anyway, um, I will uh, see you all later. Um, go check out Staxel on Steam. Go check out the soundtrack to Staxel on Bandcamp and iTunes and wherever fine digital music products are sold. Have a lovely afternoon evening, morning, night, whatever time it is in your part of the world. And I will see you if you are going to join us later this afternoon. Bye.